Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Kendra. My name is Story. <laughs> Her name is Story. And today we thought we'd bring you along as we bake some Christmas cookies. We're gonna do two different kinds of cookies. Do you know which ones? Mm -mm. Mint. Okay. Yes, we're gonna do mint and we're gonna do sugar cookie. And then we're gonna make some Christmas crack. And then we thought we'd bring you along around our house and show you some of our holiday cheer. So here is our advent calendar. This is Ann Voskamp's The Wonder of the Greatest Skin. First, we read from the book and it is short. Let's show them. So this was December 4th and it was about Noah. Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark. And not too long. I really appreciate this advent calendar because it grabs a hold of the little one's minds and my older ones that are like 11 and eight. Um, really do like it too. So on day four, we read about um, Noah's Ark and then we picked out number four. Can we show them where number four is on our tree? Number four. Let's look up here. Do you see Noah's Ark? Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark. Right there. Yes, right there. So we're just taking turns. We went from oldest to youngest this time, didn't we? So, so um, the last. You did go last. Um, our older ones are used to going last and so we thought we would turn it around and we would go oldest. oldest to young. Okay over here is one of my favorite parts of decorating. It, these socks are Atticus, Sparrows, and A's um, first grade Christmas projects that they do at school. Our tree. This is the first year that we have not done a real one. It has been tradition to go to a tree farm around where we live and grab a fresh tree and an ornament. But this year they didn't open due to COVID. So I found a really beautiful tree with great reviews on, um, you know what? I can't remember what website it was, but it was just typically uh, $200 and it was on sale for 80. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I think we're all pretty happy with it. It looks real. Um, as you can see, the bottom half of our tree is empty and that's not because of children. That is because of our dog Goldie. She has been helping herself to Christmas ornaments, um, which is such a bummer because this tree is just decorated with all the fun ornaments that my mother-in-law gets the kids each year. They're homemade school ornaments. And she destroys them all, but here's one of these. Oh, cute as a button. Yes, she is. Another homemade one. For the first time this year, I decided to decorate our little storage I don't know cubicle we put our shoes in here and I was like you know what I would love to decorate this but I'm running the risk with six children and a dog the dog has attempted to destroy this several times but has not succeeded thankfully but anyways so this ceramic my sister Loren made for me while she was in a ceramic class in college and I just love it so I added some stuffing underneath it and just used what I had at home to make it pretty for the holidays. Some real greenery, is that what you call this? I don't know. It was on sale at Walmart, 50% off, so I just grabbed two branches of it, or bundles. Nativity scene, I really love this. So I don't really have much for decorations, but when I do, I really wanna keep it about Jesus. So this was cheap, it was like $8 at Walmart. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then, oh yes, okay. One of my mentor moms, Dee, I believe her husband made this nativity scene. It's out of wood and we broke the little top off there because, well, there's a lot of us here and we just destroy things. But anyways, isn't this beautiful and it pops out. I just love that and that means so much to me to have it from her. This was at Walmart for like $17. And I've had a Santa on our door for many years and I'm like, no, Santa's not the reason. I'm not doing that again. So here we are. And isn't this beautiful? I will say this white stuff is so flaky. It just keeps falling off. But nonetheless, I really like it in the way it looks from the outside. I have to share this with you. My friend Sarah made these centerpieces for our Bible studies Christmas party. And she let me take one home for the holidays. Is this not gorgeous? So it's just um, greenery with fresh cranberries and a candle on top with water. How beautiful. I love the way it looks. Just adds some Christmas cheer. All 
all right here. So we are going to start with the mint cookies. They have to refrigerate for one hour. So we thought we'd start with them so that we can move on to our other cookies and Christmas crack as these are in the fridge. All right, Story. Do you want to pour in the yellow cake mix first? So, can I take this out? Um, nope, or yeah, you could, I guess. Okay, all of it? Yep. Go ahead and pour it into our bowl. All righty. Now, would you like to pour in the vegetable? Yep, pour it all in there. Yep. Good job here. I'm just going to go. <laughs> all right, Story. Now, will you do the two eggs? Yep. Okay, now it's time to mix a mix a. Okay, Story, you'll start. You're going to do four stirs. All right, let's count with her. Ooh. Two, three, three four. four. All right, your turn. One, One two, two, three, three four. four. Now that we have it all stirred, we're going Can to put 12 drops of food coloring in. So you'll do four. Story, go ahead and drop. One, two, oh, don't squeeze it too hard. Two, three, four. Okay. Oh, five, six, seven. Okay, your turn. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. Oh, that was twelve. Now mix it. Now we gotta mix it, mix it, and we'll do the same thing. You got a little on your. Mommy. Yep, you got a little on your. We'll, we'll get that wiped off, okay? Yeah, wipes off. Now that we have the food coloring all stirred in, we're going to add in some mint candies. Now pour in this. All right, let's let Story put those in first. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, now you put the chocolate chips in. <laughs> now that it is all stirred in, we're going to put some saran wrap over it and let it sit in the fridge for one hour. Alrighty, it's been about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and the oven is preheated to 350, so I'm going to take a half a teaspoon scoop. Kind of hard to do but into the oven they go the yep. mint cookies are done they're waiting for kids to get home from school for an after school snack now we're going to start on the sugar cookies look at this so nathan's grandma makes the best sugar cookies and i asked her one time i was like how do you make them and she's like betty crocker sugar cookie like all right the cream cheese frosting is really what makes this excellent so we have one stick of butter that's softened that we've stirred a little bit Pour this in. Mom, Here, can I store? Can I do Mom, that? That definitely yeah. smells like the frosting. Does it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, this bowl's gonna Whoa. be kind of small for this. Oops. Oh no. We're spinning inside. It's not easy to hold the camera and do this. All right. Turbo, I want you to pour the egg in. One egg. One egg. Nice job. And then I have one tablespoon of water in this measuring cup just so it's easier to pour. And now we're gonna take, oh, no touching the egg. Now we're gonna take our turns stirring. Okay, oh, stir four. It's hard to four. store. Is it hard to store? Yeah. Four times. One, two, three, four. All right, give it to Turbo. Yeah. One, here, let me have you. Two, three, four. four. All right, guys, so now we're going to wait for our mint Mommy. cook. Yep, you can, can lick that off. Can I lick this? Nope, not quite yet. We're going to wait for our mint cookies to, done, to be done before we start our sugar cookies in the oven, okay? So we'll just put this in the fridge. Say okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, now to make the cream cheese frosting for the sugar cookies. I have one stick of softened melted butter, four ounces of cream cheese, Uh, what is this? A teaspoon of vanilla extract. Hi, Mom. Hi, Super. Hi. I'm just doing this real quick before this we go pick up. This looks good already. Yes, those cookies. A fourth of a teaspoon of almond extract. Oh, I love the smell of that. Yeah, me too. Mix 
mix this up. I should probably get my mixer out, but I was trying to do this quickly, which makes no sense, right? The mixer would be quicker. Okay, and I'm gonna add one cup and a fourth of powdered sugar to this. And now we're going to add three drops of red food coloring. Trying to go for like pink. All right. There's still some clumps that I need to work out, but for the most part, that's it. And we'll frost the cookies after they're baked and cooled down. Now we're going to do the Christmas crack. So, buddy, sit up. We have six um, cups of Chex Mix. Don't put your lid on, or your mouth on that, okay? Five cups of pretzels. The recipe does call for six, but our kids like less pretzels. Uh, 16 ounces or two cups of salted peanuts. A whole bag of Christmas M&Ms and um, I don't know one whole bag of white chocolate melted. So, all right, go ahead, turbo pour in the pretzels. Oh, nice job. Some okay, still have you. That's okay. Now, Story, I'll have you pour in the peanuts. We all had to get big old bowl. Yeah. All right, Turbo, pour in the M&M's. Oh, oh. Yep. Oh. Oh. Woo, that's good. And you each better have one or two just with the bag, right? <laughs> oh, three. Oh, nope, just two. Nope, put them back. Count. How many do you have, Story? Two. Okay, how many do you have? Let me see in your mouth. Oh, you have a lot. I poured part of it into this because I didn't have a big enough bowl. All of my big, big bowls have broke or gotten lost. I need to purchase new ones. So anyways, okay, we'll pour about half or a little more. Ooh, that's a lot. Ooh, that's a lot. Pour the rest in there. Can I mix it? Just a second, okay. We poured it out onto our parchment paper and we're just gonna flatten it. Yeah, I thought my mom got you still don't have mention. Okay, yes, I'm just gonna do it real quick. Because sometimes we get off the table. Okay. And now, now you're going to do some sprinkles over it. I. I you already know which one you're going to use? Yep, these Christmas sprinkles. Okay, these go ahead and pour. Them. Sprinkle them. All right, we got our sprinkles on, and now we're going to let it dry, and then we'll put it in a container, okay? We Okay, so the Christmas crack is dry and we just put in these containers to keep. And then our cookies are cooled down and we started frosting them. Our frosting is still a little bit um, cold from being in the fridge. So we're gonna let that thaw for a little bit. They just put a little bit of frosting on and some sprinkles. Well, that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Thank you.